Yo, what's going on, everybody? Good morning. Thanks for tuning back in with Mr. Stacks. Another morning hype. You know how we do about this time. Today is July 9th, 2021. It's about 6:40 a.m. And yeah, we kind of missed yesterday's closing bell. Uh, I did record a session, but just a lot going on in the closing market. Wasn't able to publish. I uh, thought I would catch up this morning though as to what took place uh, yesterday and as far as some of the stocks we were looking at you know what ended up you know moving what didn't move what to look for here in the pre-market it's kind of what we wanted to catch up on today uh, normally we do the top four stocks to watch uh, market yesterday a little choppy more on the downside we had a tech sell off to where even some of the ones we were watching kind of sold off towards the end of the day um, right now checking the watch list we do see some movement got some high amount of volume in some of these stocks um, still keeping my eyes open though uh, I feel like we may be able to see something a little more entertaining perhaps but right now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into some stocks that I was watching yesterday throughout the week as well and I'm gonna try to pick up a new one today and see if uh, we can maybe pick up some volume and maybe see if we can get into a trade here but yeah let's go ahead and jump into this y'all alright so four stocks for the day as well as some from yesterday we did have dare yesterday d-a-r-e which is dare bioscience um, this one did uh, didn't actually pop like we were predicting because you can see I believe we looked at it around two dollars or so but it ended up coming back down as the market opened but towards like midday we did uh, see it start to recover it did end up hitting a high about 226 so this is a level that we're showing resistance at so we need a break through this level here if we're trying to move any higher I'm still keeping this one on my watch list I don't really think this one has popped off like we would like uh, it was kind of real slow day movement yesterday on this one not a lot of price action but I feel like this one here has still got some room to to, to, to move in as you can see our range is just kind of like a 170 to a 220, 230 but right now we're sitting on a 21 day moving average we're squeezing up against the 7 day I really feel like this is going to cause a pop up as we start to consolidate tighter moving forward into the morning hours so I'm going to keep Dare on my watch list for those of y'all that aren't familiar with this stock um, See if we can provide some background on it here. Yeah, nothing real crazy though in this stock. Yeah, I'll try to see if I can draw up some details as to what's causing this stock to move. Uh, these are ones I really just pick up and watch. I haven't really did a deep analysis on these it's more of a pop and drop kind of trade uh, we haven't necessarily hit the pop but as we start to maybe build up more volume or hold volume consistently I may look in to see exactly what we're doing here with this stock as far as the company itself but right now we're just looking at key levels we're waiting for a breakthrough but I would think this is a decent level to buy in more or less but we need more momentum you don't want to sit in this stock too long buying in nothing happens and you're just going to be waiting it out so we'll watch this as the morning opens and we'll see what direction we're moving in decide if we'll make a trade on this or not uh, but yeah, let's catch up on the other ones that we looked at uh, yesterday we did also have carve c-a-r-v carver bancorp and this one here had a nice play yesterday uh, i did uh, discuss this one on my video I just didn't publish it as I mentioned uh, but I'll probably just rerun as to uh, 
what I talked about on that last video since it wasn't published but yesterday with carve and the pre-market you know we did started about eleven dollars or so and we started growing into the opening hour uh, I believe I called this around you know fifteen dollars or so like hey y'all check out this stock a lot of volume there was a lot of volatility in it and as you can see as the morning opened yesterday we pushed up you know over double what the stock was worth worth this one squeezed I believe it was a more of a short interest with reddit traders and things I think that's what I was reading and it looks like we squeezed up here it's kind of what caused that high spike or that you know that real big jump there we did end up selling back down in the closing hour as you can see we landed on the 21 day and then this morning again as soon as we opened up we shot right back up we're starting to come back down we're going to test this level again i really feel like we're going to pop back up here and probably go even higher uh, you can't really put a price target on these here because the sky's the limit i mean these could reverse and go the opposite direction but with everybody you know jumping into these stocks talking about them in these forums uh, we do tend to see see these squeeze up pretty high i feel like we're going to break through this high of 38 dollars today for some reason a lot of resistance yesterday but uh, like i'm saying we're already up from yesterday you know seven eight dollars yo and it's pre-market you know still a lot of buying going on levels here about $32 once we break through that I really feel like we're gonna break the 38 but just something to watch y'all carve a lot of volatility in this one please be wise on when to buy in and when to sell out I hate to see people lose money now, this is a little pricier stock also but this one does have a lot of volatility so you can see a pretty high upside on this but you can also see a pretty significant downside y'all so just be aware but carve carv i really feel like they were gonna see this one pop today uh, morning morning volume already close to two million shares traded pre-market so we still got a high uh, amount of volume coming in here so let's keep this one on the watch list uh, those that want to get in try to make a quick buck quick fast buck you may see an opportunity this morning just look for a key level y'all You know, this may actually be one also, 28. Looks like we're about to try to break through this. But we are seeing some down pressure, as you can see. Lower lows on the hourly. But we are going sideways on the 30 minute, so. Forming a green candle, we may end up breaking this level soon, you know, so, so just keep an eye on this here. Let's go ahead and jump into Zella Technologies. Uh, this is one I've been discussing in, in numerous videos of mine. I've invested heavily in this one. I'm up, you know, got a nice chunk of change. I believe, you know, a little over a thousand dollars or something for the last few days. Uh, I really feel like we can move a lot higher. It's just we have a lot of uh, sell points here that they keep selling us. Yesterday we had a tech sell off. We were actually breaking through these levels, thinking we're going to see those highs and right before the closing bell man they just started selling off again i was kind of disappointed like man it's like a never-ending wait it's kind of how it feels sometimes with some of these stocks but we got to be patient you know just let's just wait for it we're still holding support on certain levels which is a good it's a good uh indication that we're still moving up uh this morning we're starting to move back up to gain what we lost in the towards the close yesterday we're hitting three dollars but we do see a lot of selling pressure here around the three dollar mark but i'm really hoping to break through this and test the four dollars today so zella technologies for those <clears throat> that haven't jumped on i think i bought in around two dollars so we're about a dollar up 
not bad. Uh, we have all time high 782 here recently. I'd love to see us hit those levels again, but we got to break through these, y'all. You know, we need to close above this or open above the three dollar mark, and we can start moving up more. We need these candles to form. As you can see on the daily, we started, but we are showing a lot of resistance here. So, just something to watch for, y'all. We're up in the pre-market, though, so that's a good thing. We're going to see what direction we move as the morning bell rings, and we're hoping to push up some more today, though. So, let's keep this one on the watch list also. Don't sleep on Excella. I really feel like we're going to be doing some, some movement today, so let's, uh, let's keep tabs on that. A uh, new one I'm picking up, I started looking at this morning, uh, Reshape Life Sciences, RSLS. Uh, out of all the other ones I'm looking at, this one seems to be drawing in more attention. As you can see on the 30 minute, we're testing highs here. Uh, yesterday, we seen some small gains. Uh, we moved up little by little, we broke the 200 day continuing to still move up the daily doesn't really give us much as you can see just a, it's pretty much just bling it's not really much to use there uh, four hour we can see a high of 14 back in January we also have back in what is this May June 11 but you can see we've literally just oops just been down, 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 but this descending triangle kind of, this is the bottom, and it's squeezing, so as this starts to shrink down, our bottom levels out, Eventually, we're going to start squeezing through those levels because there's really nowhere else to go. Well, no, we're not breaking support. You know, so I really feel like we're starting to squeeze up here. As you can see, some resistance. But we want to break out. It looks like we want to break out here. So we need 50 day. Move back up across the 200 day start moving up more I want to keep an eye on this one right now we're on the VWAP as you can see tested a high this morning 639 came back down it's not a big gap though in that gain right now we're holding the key level here y'all so 595 as you can see all the way back to April we've been testing this level tested it here tested it here tested it here and we're holding support all through here and then we tested it again multiple times so it really wants to break out here now we're going to keep an eye on this RSLS reshape life sciences y'all add it mark it watch it money let's hit these highs y'all 598, not a bad number. You can double your profit. We hit these all-time highs. So something to watch, something to keep in mind, something to invest in for those um, that want a good price stock there. But yeah, these are four top of my list today. I'm going to keep you all updated moving into the afternoon. Get this closing bell session published today. I uh, apologize for those that I wasn't able to, you know, send it yesterday. For those that do watch it, um, I'm gonna try to do better at trying to keep up, you know, keep uh, keep these coming on time. But uh, we'll catch up with y'all this afternoon. Let y'all know exactly how the day plays out. I would love to get y'all some money in y'all's pockets. Uh, but let's see what what the market does for us today. Feeling good. Let's try to 
you know see as we move into the opening hours if we see any more of these start to build volume I only have three out of all on my list right now that show you know over a million shares those are usually the ones I like to play with um, but some of these other ones you may continue to see them grow also uh, MRIN you can see we've got a little price movement here volume isn't as high as it usually is but you know from yesterday we're already up two dollars it's not bad AMC I know AMC moves up and down I'm not a fan of AMC though so I don't really play with those too much but space I was another one that took a nice jump yesterday Virgin Galactic but yeah man there's a few on the watch list but you know me I like to keep my my trading share is kind of closer you know to the dollar mark rather than above the ten dollar mark so that's just my strategy but feel free to check out the watch list there's probably going to be a few of these moving today but I'll keep y'all posted here in the afternoon session if we end up picking up anything new on the radar as well as any profits we made any positions we took opened or closed and I'll just kind of keep y'all updated y'all see what's going on in this market but I appreciate y'all tuning in another morning hype with Mr. Stacks let's get this money today good trading to everyone I'm going to catch up with y'all this afternoon peace